So I'm gonna do another first for myself. This is class, it's definitely worth it. Today we have a special guest taco taster. The best tope and the best egg chorizo tacos that we've had on the island. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Loved Miami, but it's time to go to the airport. The shuttle's downstairs, bags are packed. You know how you forget something? <laughs> I forgot my bra. <laughs> it's at the very back bottom of this bag. My wonderful husband said he would unpack it all for me. But you know what? It's packed within an inch of its life. So I'm gonna do another first for myself. I'm gonna go braless. This is a big thing for me and I'm really uncomfortable, but we all have to grow. Breaking down barriers. <laughs> now we've really gotta to get to the shuttle. Head into security. Camera's off. I think we should do a strip search. Excuse me? Definitely. Made it to security. Always nice to come early, then we don't have to worry about it when there's a slowdown. Now we just got a couple hours to our flight. I wonder what you're gonna do. Huh. Get some coffee. And probably read. Yeah. I'm at the end of my book. It's so good. This is a Tuesday. As you can tell here at MIA, it just seems like stuff is kind of back to normal aside from the face masks. Now it's morning. So beware, we did everything online that we said we were required to do and then American Airlines sent us before flying to Mexico. But show up early because despite that, you still have to... You still have to scan a code and fill out a bunch of stuff. It's gonna take you about a half hour. So make sure to show up to the gate earlier than boarding. Which thankfully we did. All right, out. Definitely helps with the boarding process too. Oh yeah, we haven't told you where we're going. Next stop. Call the bell. And that's hey, Jasmine. Chris. I'm Jasmine. She's our awesome flight attendant. Hi. Welcome to Cozumel. This way is so much easier. We used to take a plane, a bus, and a ferry. Now, it's just a plane. <laughs> much nicer. Yeah. We gotta turn this off before we go into customs, so we'll catch you after. That was super easy. And I got a green light. <laughs> we rented a car from Budget. If you rent from them, they're not inside the airport. You gotta walk across the street from them. So we're going to do that now. We got our budget rental car and now we're off to see our friends. Oh, we're dangerous now. I know. We can go anywhere we want. Uh-oh. We get food whenever we want. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get one. You know what we just got here? We have to have carnitas. Do it. Wait a minute, who's that guy? Uh, uh, it's good to see you. <laughs> Greg, yeah. you saw him last in Cambodia. In Cambodia. For the blood moon over Angkor Wat. That was amazing. Great to see you, brother. It's good to be back in Mexico. <laughs> I love that food. <laughs> it's really good to see you guys again. My good friends, the, my world traveling friends. <laughs> yeah, you put us to shame. No, no. Uh, I have uh, been to 34 countries. 34. And I keep a list because I met a guy when I was in India and he told me he'd been to 36 countries and I'm like calculating in my head how many countries have I been to so I wrote it down and now every time I visit a new, every time I get a new stamp in my passport I get to uh, write a new country down. Uh, there's many places in, in Europe and in, in Russia and Eastern Europe that I want to I want to see. We'll go see him with you. So we normally have Katie trying all the food but today we have a special guest taco taster. <laughs> I don't know what we got here. Oh, we are recording. Hey, this is uh, this is fantastic. This is one of my favorite taquerias in Cozumel. It's called Carnitas Diaz. We need a little salsa, and we need a little salt. Everybody needs some salsa and right? salt in their life. And we need some lime, a little lime on it, right? 
And what we have here is dos sortido, which is like uh, mixed with uh, lean meat and fat, and dos maciza, which is just lean meat, which is uh, healthy. Oh, it's like heaven in a handful. The perfect taco is three bites. Let's see. So the first bite is one third. Oh. <laughs> That's fantastic. It makes my heart smile. The three bite taco. That's a three bite taco. It's the perfect taco. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. How much were those? 17 pesos. Oh, uh, like uh, so 80 cents. Yeah, less than a dollar a piece. 75 wow. cents. And on the main line, they're half that price. But Cozumel is a little more expensive. This is Buche pork belly. I'm going to try it without any condiments on it. Oh. The fattiness. <laughs> that's really good. Thank you so much. Yeah, she likes Looks fattiness because she loves me. Mm. Oh, these are really good. Mm. Tacos Diaz brought us a little sampler platter of some other meats we can try in their tacos. Katie's going to try them for us. We have Igaro, which is liver. Tripa, which is tripe, and cuero, which is skin. All right, liver. Mm. It, I'm not a fan of liver, but it's just really good. It doesn't have that pungent liver, liver taste. It's subtle. It's really dried and cured. That's not bad. This is intestines. Mm. Salty. Cleanse your palate, Yeah, darling. I should cleanse my palate. Okay, after I cleanse my palate, let me try this again. This is the tripe. Mmm. Surprising, this one has a bitter flavor. And here's the skin. Mm. <laughs> I love the skin. That one's really good. Greg, you gonna try some tripe? Sure, I'll give it a go. But I, I do want to say that I remember when we were in Cambodia, the very first meal we had, Katie ordered red ants. Red ants. <laughs> That's do you right. remember the red ants? And That's she just right. went right to it, just like she did with this little sample of interesting meats. Like, well, let's just call them exotic pork product, right? Here at the taco shop. She just went, I'll just eat the liver, no problem. I'll just eat the tripe, no problem. I ordered red tree ants. <laughs> very good. Yeah. I'm not going to have any ants tonight. This is tripe, so this is pig intestine, which is delicious. Mm. <laughs> it's a little bitter. It's a little interesting. I'm not, it's not my favorite. Not my favorite in the whole world. I gotta try the skin. So this is pork skin. Pig skin with a lot of fat on it. Okay, we'll go with this one. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like a gummy worm. Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> Thanks for coming to eat lunch with me. Thanks for seeing us, brother. As we say in Mexico, buen provecho y hasta luego. We've been in Cozumel a few days and all we've been doing is visiting friends, eating. Eating lots of tacos. And playing in the beautiful ocean. <laughs> a couple times we've been here, I've wanted to go to Don Donicelli's. 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 It's supposed to be, fa it's a famous local spot. I've never eaten here either. It's a, you have to have a car because it's halfway around the island, not within walking distance, so. We'll see if the car breaks down how far we can walk. Uh, there's tacos, uh, sofes, which is what I want to try, uh, sandwiches, and then there's a special of the day. Sandwiches? I doubt that. No, uh, it's called... Tortas. Tortas. I just saw the size of the large sope. That is huge. We may have ordered too much. Ah, oh, actually, what? who are we kidding? We never do. It's like, what's new? <laughs> Had to switch sides for lighting. So this is chorizo and egg. Oh, yum. Oh, that's so good. Mm. The saltiness and the egg. I'm kind of glad this place is a little bit of a drive because we've been eating here every day. <laughs> wow, those are the best tacos I've had yet. Yeah, this is the biggest one I've seen. Oh, oh yeah, we're coming back here. We're, we're gonna bring our friends. <laughs> the beans have so salty, but have so much flavor, and the 
sour cream or the crema, and the uh, tortilla is made fresh. Mm. I'm in heaven. I'm really glad you researched this place because, dang. This is a 10. And you haven't even gotten yours yet. I know. I ordered the beef one. It's, the, they ordered the large, I ordered the medium. So we'll see the size difference. Wow. Now this is the medium. It looks pretty big to me. I know. What would you get? Piece thick, beef. Come on. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. They're mm, really good. The beef is, is flavorful. Mm. And I love the beans. It is really good. Wow. Well, you get an A plus for picking this place, but <laughs> hands down, the best sope and the best egg and chorizo tacos that we've had on the island will definitely be coming back here. We are a long ways down south, and I kind of need a nap now, but I think we'll struggle through to the beach. <laughs> and we will be back here because that was really good and there's some more meats that I want to try. <laughs> yeah, this is a return to place. Fantastic. And that whole thing was 240 pesos for all that food, which I think right now is like, I don't know, like 12 bucks, something like that. Yum. Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>